the microphone. Come to the microphone. All I will just say is this. Um, it is a far cry from meeting a standard of imminent threat. Um, they had to leave pretty quickly, so about 10 of the attending senators, 10 to 15, got to ask questions, and many others did not get to ask questions, but at least based on the presentation that was made, uh, it does not meet what I consider to be an imminent threat. I would say that the briefing was incredibly thin on facts, and to the extent that they provided facts, in my judgment, they did not support any claim of an imminent threat that would justify the actions they've taken uh, with respect to eliminating uh, Soleimani. I was deeply surprised at the lack of information presented by the administration regarding a specific imminent threat. This appears to me to be a strike of choice by this administration, uh, one that likely would have required congressional authorization beforehand. I went into this briefing today with some critical questions that I wanted to hear the answers to. The imminency of the threat, the nature of the threat, the intelligence that would lead us to understand that eliminating Soleimani alone would eliminate the threat. And I walk away not only unsatisfied, but it draws real concerns for me that we do not have the type of information that is critical for members of the United States Senate to make. Don't feel too bad. That's what they did to us as well. <laughs> they closed. They closed the briefing rather quickly. So, anyhow, we have more questions than we have answers at the end of the day. I'm very shy. I don't like public speaking, but fine, we'll do it. Your impression to what you heard today? It was very well done. Uh, I think they've done an excellent job of outlining the rationale behind both the uh, decision to go after Soleimani and the response uh, to the uh, Iranian attack yesterday. So it was very well done. Uh, you've seen clear intelligence that uh, they were about to ratchet it up even further uh, and that there was a near-term threat against American troops stationed abroad. And I'm, I, I'll tell you this, I am convinced that had decisive action not been taken, we could very well be standing here today talking about the death of dozens if not hundreds of Americans at the hands of uh, Shia militias working as proxies for the Iranian regime. Was I just sat through one of the best briefings I've had since I've been here in the United States Congress. Uh, you had people who gave absolute crystal clear information that the president and the national security people had when they make the, made the decision to take out Soleimani. Uh, what, uh, came, what you come away with after listening to the Democrats question these people is there is so much hate and vitriol and animosity against this president that they are willing to put at risk lives of American citizens and uh, American military people. After listening to the information that the president had, the CIA had, the security people had, the uh, people who do intelligence work had, it would have been negligent, it would have been reckless, and it would have been an intentional disregard for the safety of Americans for the president not to act and not to take out Soleimani. Thank you very much.